you just put the skateboard bearing on and then you're able to just press it in like that. My name's Sean Conley. I live in San Francisco, California. I skate for Circle A Skateboards and I'm co-founder of the SF Skate Club, a skateboarding program for youth. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to change skateboard bearings. Uh, let's say your bearings are not any good anymore, they're making some noise, they're, uh, they're riding really slow. Uh, when you pick it up the board and spin them, they're going and making noises. Uh, all these are signs that you need to put in new skateboard bearings. Uh, another reason that I've noticed is you're doing a manual trick and when you're doing a nose wheelie, it doesn't really move too well, but when you're doing the manual, it goes really fast. That might mean that your front bearings, one of them is, is blown. So I'm going to take my skateboard tool here, my unit tool, and this is a great tool because it has a re-threader on it. So once I get this bolt off, if I got any problems, I can re-thread the axle and it will go back on eventually. So I'm going to loosen this thing up and take it off. And just on your way off, when you're taking a bolt off, you want to like roll it back and forth because what you're doing is you're pretty much cutting the threads on your nut when you're taking it off. So you want to make sure that it's going to get on again. So as much care as you can take in this little process will pay off when it's time to put that thing on. So you got that off and you'll pop your bearings out and you got to kind of grip it like that. Um, you can use the, the bearing press also to pull them out or you can just use your axle. I'll just use my axle. It seems to be the easiest way. Um, it gets harder the smaller your wheels are, I've noticed, because there's less to grab onto, so it's harder. But uh, 50 millimeter and up, it should be okay. Um, so I popped it off and you got to want to Figure out which bearing is your problem here. So you got two bearings, you don't really know which one, you just know that wheel is slow. So now, this one looks like it's all right, let's say. And this one, that one's kind of like the more problem one. So, you take your new set of bearings and you put them in here. I pop the shields off, maybe put a little lubrication in it if you, if you feel like it, or you can wait for the first day after you've skated your bearing. And you've got it down here, you put it in, press that one in, take it out, and you've put in one new bearing and you've got one old bearing. So you're changing it and you're making it, you're figuring out where the problem is. So now pop that one back on. And it should be a lot more cleaner once you put your new skateboard bearing in. And you kind of always want to check up on your bearings and figure out which ones have the problems and which ones don't. And this is how you change skateboard bearings. My name's Sean Conley and I live in San Francisco, California, skate for Circle A Skateboards and co-founder of SF Skate Club, skateboarding program for youth. If you want to learn more about that, look up sfskateclub.com.